In order for us to be as organized and efficient as possible in the spring when we begin lambing, we bring in this bunch of sheep before heading to the desert and ultrasound each and every one to see how many lambs they're going to have. sound sheep today. Got to see which ones are going to have twins, which are going to have singles, separate them, mark them accordingly so we know for the springtime. By ultrasounding the ewes, we know for the spring that the ones having twins need to come off the desert first. Those that are only going to have one lamb can go to a singles herd where they don't need quite as much attention and tending. Those that are not far enough along to see what they're going to have or are not pregnant are marked as open and are kept on the desert longer in order to save on costly hay, labor, and valuable space in the lambing sheds. This is Tony. He came all the way from Oregon to get us taken care of. We bring the sheep from the back of the krill all the way up the chute and into the squeeze where he stops each one, runs his machine, and determines what the ewe is going to have. He marks it with a certain color spray paint so I know what to brand and sends them on their way. It's a pretty quick process and we're able to fly through the whole entire herd just one day. Each sheep will be checked, marked, and then sent out of the squeeze and into a working chute where I'm waiting with different color paint brands. We used a green paint for anything lambing later or not pregnant at all, and a purple brand for all the ones just having one lamb. After that, we keep them moving down the chute and out the last gate for the day where they're sorted based on what they're going to have and which herd they'll be joining for the winter. It's a good thing we have a lot of help around to keep the sheep moving and out the end of the chute. It was a long day with a lot of work that needed to be done. There are a lot of moving parts when moving this many sheep through a chute and a corral. From guys in the back to keep the chute full, guys moving them up the side. Someone has to stay right before the squeeze to keep it full and make sure they leave when they're done so Tony isn't waiting on us. Someone also needs to get them branded and somebody else has to help them out the end as we separate. Lots of people that know what they're doing make a big difference when you work in livestock. As we finish up for the day, we kick them out the gate and head them down the road into a pasture where they'll be for the next several days until we fire up the trucks, load them up, and head them to the desert where they'll spend the rest of the winter.